Hello and welcome to Ashton Gate. Ahead of the new season, I'd like to talk you through some of the many changes that have taken place over the summer and that will be taking place over the next two years. First up, you'll notice the Wedlock stand is now in the process of being demolished. The new stand will take a year to build, so there won't be any supporters in this area during the season. As a result, we've created a new supporters section here in the Atio stand in blocks B, C and D. We'll remove some seats to help separate the stand. There are new shutters in the concourse to divide the kiosks and toilets between home and away supporters. For games when there's a very low away support, we may be able to release more tickets for home fans. Away supporters will now enter the stand from turnstiles 5 to 8 in the Atio car park. The work to the wedlock stand has also meant that we've lost some toilets, kiosks, turnstiles and an emergency exit route for supporters at the south end of the Dolman stand. As a result, we've taken out two turnstiles at the north end near the Atio. This has allowed us to increase the exit width. However, it does mean that the Dolman stand will now operate with eight turnstiles rather than 12. Because of all the changes, it's probably best to try and get here early to avoid missing the start of a game. And please do try and be patient when leaving. On that note, if you are leaving a game early, you won't be allowed to stand along any of the walkways. So once you've left your seat, you will have to make your way to the exits. Due to the loss of toilets and kiosks, the Dolman Hall will be open to all supporters in this stand. You'll be able to enter using the usual entrance at the Atio end or a new one that will be created at the southern end of the Dolman stand. Don't forget though, alcoholic drinks won't be allowed outside. The other major change to show you is of course the pitch. As many of you are aware, it's been fully renovated over the summer, installing new sprinklers, drainage and undersoil heating pipes, although these won't be fully operational until a bit later in the scheme. We've also inserted an artificial fibre under the grass to make it more durable. This system is called Desso Grassmaster and is used at Arsenal, Manchester City, Wembley and Twickenham. The playing surface has been moved towards the Williams stand by 2.4 metres, so you may notice the goals and lines are in a different location. The pitch will move again in two years' time into its final position once the stadium rebuild has been completed. As a result, we'll have to make some changes to the stands. We'll have to remove the front row of the Atio stand in order to move the wheelchair accessible row back. We've also had to make some changes to the front row of the Williams stand to ensure the team benches can be relocated, but these shouldn't have a major impact on supporters. So to recap, let's show you some of the plans for the new stadium. These are just some of the architectural images for the complete stadium. They aren't detailed or exact, but give you an idea of what's planned. You'll notice that the car park behind the old wedlock stand has been reduced during the construction phase, and there'll be no access from behind the demolished stand. As for the Dolman stand and the demolition of the Williams stand, we'll produce another video a bit nearer to the time to talk you through how that will work in practice. Clearly, with so many changes afoot, it is going to alter your match day experience. As we build for the future, we're working really hard to give you the best possible day. Do bear with us and please don't hesitate to get in touch if you have any queries.